Hello, my name is Andy Atherton, an automation specialist at Kendall Electric. It is my pleasure to discuss and demonstrate a very powerful detector in the SensorPart Visor software, the blob detector. A common application for a machine vision inspection is detection of the presence of an object. If the shape of the object is consistent and well-defined, a pattern matching or contour detector would be a good choice. Conversely, if the object is not a defined shape or size, a blob detector may work well. This detector has two significant aspects. The first is segmentation and the other is analysis. This video will cover the topic of segmentation and a second video will discuss analysis. A blob is a group of connected pixels meaning they touch each other, of similar intensity, that they can be distinguished from the background is known as segmentation. The group of pixels do not need to be of defined shape or size, and their intensities must fall within a grayscale range. Let's look at how segmentation is accomplished. I have an image of two objects of different intensities, shapes, and sizes. First, I will add a blob detector and adjust the search region to the entire field of view. The settings on the binarization tab affect segmenting the desired blobs. Without proper segmentation, analyzing the blobs would not be possible. There are two choices for creating a threshold between a blob and the background, absolute and dynamic. With an absolute threshold, upper and lower intensity limits are set that do not change, even if overall image intensity changes from one image to the next. First I will set the limits so that both blobs are detected, and to help me with this I will click the histogram button to display the histogram of the image. The histogram shows the distribution of the number of pixels at each intensity value in the image. By dragging the upper limit to include the high peak at lower intensities, and the smaller peak at higher intensities, both objects can be segmented. I could change the limits so that only the lighter blob is segmented. If I reset the limits and change the color of the background, I see a change in the histogram, and now neither blob is segmented from the background. I can adjust the limits to segment the darker object, but not the lighter object. Using the lighter background, switching to a dynamic threshold, and selecting dark objects. Both objects are once again segmented. The histogram shows the limits that have been automatically set. With a dynamic threshold, the limits change with intensity changes in each image. If I again change the color of the background, the darker of the two objects is still segmented, but the lighter object is not, as it is too close to the background in intensity. It would not be reasonable to expect that the lighter object could be segmented from this background. The histogram helps to visualize this. The threshold correction factor biases the upper limit down for positive values and up for negative values when dark objects is selected. When light objects is selected, the lower limit is biased higher for positive values and lower for negative values. This helps to skew the threshold in a specific direction based on what variations may be possible. Checking the box Boundary Blobs allows blobs that are touching the search region to be detected, and with it unchecked, they are ignored. The search region can be a rectangle, circle, or free shape. With free shape, portions of the search region can be masked out of consideration. The overlay control specifies what is displayed only. It has no effect on segmentation or the functionality of the detector. This concludes the first video about the visor blob detector. The second video will cover the features tab. This is where the real power of this detector can be realized. Features allow analysis of the segmented blobs to determine which are detected and extract additional information about them. 
Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to view the second part to learn about the true power of this detector. If you'd like more information about Sensorpart Visor, please contact your Kendall Electric Account Manager or Automation Specialist. Visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest you. Stay connected to us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Make sure to watch part two, and we'll see you again on a Kendall Quick Connection video.